Hey everyone, Jamil from the Work From Anywhere Accelerator here, and we're back with another student interview uh, today with Garrett. I'm going to let him go ahead and introduce himself, but uh, he's had a really awesome win, really awesome quick win that we're going to talk about uh, and dive into more detail on, but I don't want to share too much yet. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? How's it going, guys? Yeah, my name is Garrett Navarrete. I'm based here out of Denver, Colorado. Um, been doing the WFA here now for probably two two months now. Um, a little background on myself: I graduated from Colorado State University uh, with a marketing degree back in 2013. Uh, after graduating, had a couple different jobs: uh, one in a big corporation type setting, one with a small business. Um, so just doing different things with the uh, different companies but i found this opportunity uh, like i said just like two or three months ago and it was something that I, i've definitely kind of been wanting to do i was tired of working for for other people and uh, making a bunch of uh, other people a bunch of money um, you know kind of wanted to go on my own and and figure out how i can generate income and live the life that i've always wanted so that's just a, a little background on me awesome so why don't you tell everybody a bit about how you came across uh, WFA, how you came across Christian, what, uh, you know, what, what brought you into the fold there? Uh, so, so it's funny, actually, uh, I kept seeing the ads that you guys uh, made for WFA, um, you know, seeing Christian on the beach with his computer and he's like, work from anywhere in the world or, uh, you know, that, that sort of thing. And I, I'd seen those ads for several months because, working remotely is always something that I want to do. And I guess it just, yeah, whatever triggered me to be a part of that, um, advertisement focus, the audience targeting, uh, I was in that and saw the, the ads for, for several months. And then one day clicked on it, watched the, uh, you know, kind of the hour intro, what it's all about. And just kind of took the leap after that. I saw everything, um, that was presented and it seems legit. And, um, yeah, I, it was it was definitely a leap of faith. I definitely was hesitant at first, but I was like, you know what, nothing's going to change until I make a change myself, and just went for it. So yeah, just took the next step, signed up, and uh, um, just started going through all the process you guys laid out for me. Awesome. Um, so when you joined in, what were some of the first steps that you took when you joined? Because I know a lot of folks kind of get overwhelmed with the sheer amount of info that's in there. And some of them like to go ahead and like jump around and all. Um, but what, what were like those first few steps when you joined in and you're like, okay, now I got access. What was your path from there? Right. So I got access. And for me, I'm the type of person that likes to know like what's going on before just going with it. So I know like when you first sign up, it says um, like do this on Facebook, start changing your Facebook to, you know, kind of align with what you're wanting to do. Uh, I didn't take those first steps. I really just wanted to go through the entire course um, just to kind of like know that way, I, you know, I, I know what I'm talking about once I do start talking to clients. Um, so yeah, I really just wanted to get a feel for everything and know exactly what was going on. So I, I took, I went through every single module one by one. Uh, I think I spent probably at least an hour at least an hour every single day for a week or two um, to get through all those modules. Um, so I went through all the modules. That way I got a basis of like, okay, is this something that you, you I just wanted to get the knowledge of it to get that baseline. So got through that, felt comfortable with it. Um, so I started doing things um, from module one and you know started to kind of implement that. Um, so things were kind of slow after that. You know, it was like, it is a little bit, overwhelming when you first join in uh, tons of information you're taking a lot of things in you're learning a bunch of different things um so but i when i when i started taking that the first steps in module one wasn't really getting the results or like i felt like i was not doing everything i could uh, and then i remembered that there was that 14 uh day challenge the quantum leap challenge i was like oh yeah that was presented at, at the very beginning um I'll, I'll just check that out and see what's going going on there and see if I can't get a faster jump. So I signed up for that the 14 day challenge, did that and grinded that out for, for the 14 days. And literally after that 14th day, I got my first client. So I went from, from I signed up and went through the whole, all the modules, got, got a grasp of everything. It's like, okay, yeah, I could, I could definitely do this. And then started implementing in things here and there, didn't see the results. And then it's like, all right, do the 14 day challenge, did that. And then yeah, it was boom. Everything clicked after that. Nice. We're, we're going to come back to that, but 
what, what was your background in marketing, digital marketing, things like that? Like, did you have any background or foundation there? Um, is, is that why you decided to go through all the, all the program first, just to kind of get your footings or? Yeah. So as I mentioned, um, I, I did graduate from Colorado State University in 2013 with a marketing degree. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, I've done different marketing things for different companies. Um, and, and it's all, it's all mostly been sales, like marketing to promote sales. So for the last six, seven years, I've mainly just been doing sales for, for different industries. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's like the, the background I had in marketing, um, in, in sales, but I never had done any of like the Facebook stuff, hadn't done any of the digital marketing. Um, you know, I've, I'd done a little bit of SEO for different companies, but that was really the extent of my digital marketing. Um, so yeah, I really did not have really any clue how to go about doing it, which is kind of crazy. You know, you graduate from college, you spend, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars per year and I'm still paying off my student loans now. And that's great. You know, you get a little piece of paper that says, Hey, you can do different things. But I, I didn't learn anything about digital marketing from college or anything like that. Everything that's been implemented, um, you know, since taking the course has all been learned from the course. So there's been a, a little bit of uh, overlap with just the sales aspect of things, you know, when you're talking with clients on the phone um, and doing sales in that nature. So I'm a little bit probably maybe more comfortable with someone who's never done sales or digital marketing, just in the sense that, you know, I'm used to talking with people and doing sales. But as far as my, my digital marketing knowledge, I really, I was starting basically from, from scratch scratch you know square one so um yeah most of everything that we're implementing uh and doing through the wfa was all learned in wfa true so yeah let's circle back to that uh that first client that you mentioned there so uh you know after taking the 14 day challenge you had you had a nice uh run through on wins there so why don't you tell us a bit more about uh about what that first client looks like what those uh what that process looked like at the end of the 14 day challenge where you ended up getting on a call with them and actually closing them. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, like I said, took all the steps, just did everything day by day with the 14 day challenge. Um, and it was all, it's all basically, um, encompassing the, the plant harvest method, right? So you go on Facebook and you just kind of frame your Facebook profile to make it look like you're the expert. And it was really just, it, it was super simple. It sounds dumb, but like literally just doing everything you guys said to do. Um, you know, I changed my, my Facebook profile, framed it to be more of a digital marketing expert. And then I joined probably 40 to 50 different groups. You know, I, I had a requested to join probably a hundred groups, but only end up getting into around 40 or 50. And it was all within the, the different niches that I, I was thinking that I would thrive in. So I, I chose Real estate, roofing, chiropractic, um, those were the kind of like the top three that I was, I was targeting. So just joined all of the groups within that niche. And once I got in the groups, just really just wanted to start adding value to people. And yeah, just started creating posts, uh, examples of what, what you guys had kind of said in the 14th challenge, day challenge to do. Um, start creating posts, starting conversations just go through every single day and that's what it takes is going through every mm -hmm. single day commenting on people's posts uh that they've made you know just asking questions um and, and generally just being super curious about people's businesses and how they go about generating business for themselves um so once once i started like creating that conversation um people you know started perking their ears up and like oh who's this guy and um then i started posting some of the 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 example results that, you know, you, you provided, um, from, from your mini funnels and, and campaigns. And, um, it really just started framing me as the expert, which was awesome because eventually people started reaching out to me. Um, and that's where that this first client actually came from. He, uh, he reached out to me, he commented on one of my posts, um, that I'd made and then sent me a, a private message and was like, yo dude, we like, we need to talk. Like, I, nice. I'm super interested and um, yeah, we ended up getting on the phone and um, yeah, he was just like, cool. Yeah, this sounds great. Let's do it. And awesome. that was it. <laughs> so it just kind of happened from there. He ended up, um, that client ended up, he, he like saw everything I was doing and he got super gung ho 
about doing it himself. So after the first month, he was like, you know what? I think I can do this. And um, at the end of the day, I was like, cool, man. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just here to help. And that's how I was framing all of my conversations. Like, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm not here um, to push anything on you. Like literally at the end of the day, I just want to help you grow your business. Mm -hmm. And um, so he was super, super appreciative of that. And he wanted to go on his own, but he gave me a couple referrals of other guys that might be uh, nice. wanting to do something like this. So yeah, um, that, that was kind of how that, that first client came about. And then just doing the, the same thing day in, day in, day out, going and posting on people's comments, asking questions within different groups, uh, things like that. And then people just, just start reaching out to you shortly after I got that first client, um, like a week later, I had another, uh, potential client come in. He was a real estate agent here in Colorado and he had been seeing all my posts and he was like, Hey man, like I've been using Z Zillow and paying thousands of thousands of dollars in Zillow and Trulia and things like that. And I don't, I don't get any leads. Um, so we had a conversation and, um, he was like, yeah, I would rather much pay you know, pay for your services and work with you as opposed to, you know, just throwing money at, at Zillow and, and hoping something lands. Um, so I just started that client within this last week. And so I'm hoping to start generally generating a ton of leads for him, but yeah, it all stems from just, just doing everything in that 14 day challenge, going into all the groups. Once you've joined, you know, you, the groups and within your niche and, and really just starting conversations. And again, not where I found success was not trying to sell anybody and not trying to sell like you or sound like you have a sales pitch or, or anything like that. It's all about you. Like, I'm just here to add value. And, and when I got on call, I've, I've probably had 30 different sales calls. Um, mm -hmm. So out of the 30, you know, landed two clients within, within those 30. And, and every single time I start that conversation on the phone, it's like, Hey man, like, I just want to learn more about your business. How this phone call is going to go is just, I'm just going to ask you some different questions, get a feel for where you're at. And at the end of the conversation, if it sounds like something I, I can help you with, then I'll let you know. If it sounds like it's something I can't help you with, then I'll let you know that too. Because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I really am just here to help. Nice. Yeah, and I think that's a really big, a really big differentiation factor that a lot of folks didn't take out of the 14 day challenge, but I tried to harp on it as much as I could. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you approach folks, by just offering value and you, you're just there to deliver value to them. I mean, they'll come to you. And on top of that, when they come to you, they're going to, they're going to come with an open mind. They're really there uh, in a whole different frame. They're there to learn. They're there to see if there is a fit. They're there not to just judge and uh, you know, make immediate uh, decisions in their head. And it's, it's a night and day thing. Absolutely. Um, yeah. That's it's, absolutely it's phenomenal. Yeah, it, 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 exactly right. It's, it is a night and day thing when, when you're just there to add value. Because I, I would say just being in sales too, or, you know, like I said, I've been doing sales for the last six or seven years. If you go in with the mindset of, I'm going to sell this person, like, oh, this is going to be a deal, that's going to come off in the conversation and they're going to be reluctant to work with you because you just have that vibe to you. Like, Oh, this guy's just trying to sell me. But if you just, re 100%. it's a, it's that simple, simple change of your mindset. Like I'm not here to sell anybody. I'm just here to help in any way I can answer questions and, and see where it goes from there. And ultimately that, you know, that's going to create the best relationship. And if that person does end up being a client, you already have that basis of trust and, and the foundation of that relationship. So everything just goes so much smoother after that. hundred percent. Yeah. It makes all the difference. Um, awesome. So what would be your best piece of advice for someone who maybe hasn't yet got their first client or their first trial um, and is new to the program uh, based on, I mean, based on the path that you've gone through, I mean, you're two months in, you uh, went through the program, you consumed it all first, went through and started taking action and then dove into the challenge to kind of accelerate things. Out of all that, what would be your best piece of advice for someone who's new to it all? Um, I think, and this is going to sound lame maybe or dumb, but like literally just do what you guys say to do. <laughs> like it, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, I mean, I won't lie. There, there was a couple days, you know, where I felt defeated and like, you know, I'm sitting at home working from home now. And like you sit on Facebook all day and it's not like you're not doing anything, you know, you're, you're 
commenting on people's posts and, and responding to people and trying to start conversations. And there were a couple of days where I didn't get any feedback whatsoever. Um, but it's all about just, just keep doing it. You know, it's a daily thing. If you, if you give up on, on one day, then you're not going to make it. You just have to keep, keep going. Um, so yeah, simple as it sounds, it's literally just do put in the work, put in the work, do what you guys say to do, take the steps and and just follow, follow the steps. It's, it's pretty much that simple, um, yeah. you know, just, just doing it. And then I guess the only other piece of advice, and we kind of just talked about this, but just framing yourself as like, I'm here to help. Like you're, you're doing this. You want to get into this business to help other people. That should be your mindset is I'm here to add value. It shouldn't be like, Oh, I'm going to get rich quick or uh, anything like that. Cause otherwise you're not in the right mindset and you're going to fail. But if, if you just put in the work daily and have the mindset of, I'm here to add value to people and carry that mindset into all of your, you know, potential client calls. That's my best piece of advice I could give is because you're just going to get so much better response um, with that mindset. And then you might have not be starting the conversations or have the feedback you want right away on one day, but you know, you keep doing the work and the next day and two days later, you'll get that feedback guaranteed. Makes sense. Yeah. And I think one thing, one thing you, you called out there and kind of glossed over a little bit is the idea of showing up every day to it. Yeah. That, that by far and away is a big thing that most folks don't do. Right. They do the activity and then they're like, okay, it's a weekend. I'm not going to do anything on Saturday and Sunday. And then they come back to it. And then they're, they're kind of wondering like, why isn't there any activity on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right. Might, might all come in on Friday. And it's because the continuous nature of it and showing up every day to it, that consistency is huge. hundred percent. It's, it's everything. I mean, it really is. It, it really is everything. Um, Cause I'll say, you know, I'll, I'll go in on into different groups and comment on people's um, posts or, and whatnot. And most people don't respond that day or even maybe the next day, but it's like two days later, they see your comment on their post. They'll check it out. And then that leads them to go to your page and, and, and check out what you're doing. And if you haven't done anything to your page or taken the steps to add value, just like on your, your page daily or creating videos or whatever, they're not going to take you seriously. But you know, if you are taking those steps every single day, then you do have that stuff on your page. You do have those posts where you are adding value. Um, and then they can go and see like within the group that you're starting conversations with other people. And it really just frames you as that expert. And if you didn't take the steps and do it day by day, you wouldn't have any of that to back you. Um, and yeah, things, things don't happen right away. So it's, it's really just staying consistent. And that was tough. Um, you know, committing to that, but that's honestly what I did. I didn't take a day off for, for all. And I still haven't taken a day off. I, I work every single day, even if it is just for 20, 30 minutes, you know, going in on, into different groups and, and just doing different things. But, um, I'll try to spend a minimum of two hours a day on this every single day. And that's, I'm reaping the benefits. So yeah, guys, it's, okay. it's all about just putting in the work and staying consistent. That is, I would say 80 to 90% of the battle. hundred percent. And I mean, yeah, it, you know, you don't always have to do two hours, but like you said, if you do 20 minutes on, on the weekends, but then you're back in an hour, two hours on the weekdays, that, that makes a difference. You yep. just got to, you know, show up that little bit of time and keep the consistent actions. That's 100%. Uh, absolutely epic advice. hundred percent. Um, so that's absolutely phenomenal. Um, is there anything else you want to leave anybody with in case somebody wants to get in touch, maybe has a referral for you, anything you want to leave them with and how to get in touch? Uh, yeah. I mean, for me guys, uh, I've talked with a couple people within um, the group WFA and people just asking me questions and things I've learned. And I'm more than happy to help anybody answer any questions. Um, Cause not only do I want to be value to my potential clients and my future clients, but you know, I want to be just, add value to anyone I can possible. So if anybody has any questions for me, you want to reach out, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, again, my name is Garrett Navarrete, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, Navarrete, N-A-V-A-R-E-T-T-E. -E. Uh, anybody could shoot me a message anytime. Um, if you want to schedule a call, you know, I'm happy to get on a call and answer questions with anybody. anybody uh, but yeah, I, that's the biggest piece of advice I have for, for anybody is just take these steps, 
listen to Jamil and Christian and, and just do everything and reach out when you do need help. Cause there's definitely been times where I've needed help and, and Jamil, I super appreciate you, man. You have been so tremendously helpful for me. Uh, there's been a couple of times where I got stuck on, on the technical side of things. Um, but I think that's just what it comes down to guys is, um, helping everyone out, you know, um, I think when, when you help others grow, you only grow yourself. There's not a finite piece of the pie where if you're helping someone else, you're losing out on yourself. Um, so I, I'm all about helping anyone and everyone I can. So anyone feel free to reach out to me and I'll be there for you. Awesome. Awesome. Appreciate you taking the time and uh, definitely uh, thanks for, uh, for sharing all that advice. It's absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. No, again, thank you to you and, and Christian and everything you guys have done as well. This has been uh, a game changer in my life, in my career, and I'm just at the beginning and, and already seeing success. So I cannot wait to see uh, what the next year, two years, three years looks like for me. Awesome. All right.